All right, guys, welcome back. I'm Captain B, and have I got an adventure for you. I made it out here to Texas. My whole life I've been thinking about fishing these oil rigs, and here I am, preparing for the trip. Um, uh, I just wanna go over a few things with you guys that I just put together for the trip. Check it out. We're gonna bring our vent butt with us, okay? We have the 114 HLW Senator. Okay, we're gonna bring this bad boy with us just in case we get into something. We're not gonna spend a lot of time trolling, but you go around those oil rigs. If you bring the bent butt with you, uh, this has got 80 pound power pro on it. Um, a super long leader, like a hundred foot a leader on it. I can drop down anything that I need to, drag something deep. Um, um, it, can, it can be an ace in the hole, always bring something to troll with. Uh, we got a pitch rod too. Um, um, just in case there's any dolphin or anything like that out there, triple tail on a seaweed line, okay? Um, uh, I, like Shimano, got the Shimano Stratic uh, 4000 Fi, okay? Just an old, just an old school, you know? Um, uh, this here, we have the Shimano Stella 20,000 SW. This is actually a gift. I've never used it even once. It's especially for this oil rig fishing, um, um, for uh, fishing these uh, butterfly jigs. Um, this jig right here is my favorite butterfly jig. This is the, uh, made by Shimano, Shimano butterfly jig. This is a 5.6 ounce or 160 gram. Uh, and this is the blue sardine, the blue sardine y'all. Check that out, okay. That's a flat drop jig. They're meant to hit it on the drop. Um, all you're gonna do is just drop that down to the bottom, let it flutter on down. Uh, I have uh, a little bit of monofilament backing on this, but this is 80 pound power pro. It's almost like a 20 pound test diameter, maybe a little bit less. Um, uh, this reel is super strong, made to handle anything that's out there. Holds like 460 yards. Uh, of line, I mean, the line capacity, the drag system, everything's on it. I can't wait to check out this reel. I wanna see what we can do with it tomorrow. This butterfly jig, I'm, uh, I'm telling you, we're gonna get out there after these red snapper. I think it's gonna be like snapper candy. We're gonna get them. All right, and so for our drop down rig, okay, you're gonna want something that also has a second speed, some you can go fast and some that has a second speed you can click in on. Okay, so we're gonna go with the uh, Accurate Boss Extreme 600. Um, this is something I brought with me from Fort Lauderdale. I picked it up after the Navy. It's something I can bring with me around the world, anywhere that I go. Um, these reels are made uh, cut above in my, uh, uh, as far as I can say, made to be a, a cut above the rest, not just accurate. Um, Avid makes great reels. Shimano makes great reels in this class, but they're made to have super strong drags uh, uh, that you can put a ton of line on as far as the Power Pro. And they're really made to fish this Power Pro to do this deep dropping, to drop butterfly jigs. So we have a heavy rod with a fast action tip uh, made by Shimano, uh, Shimano Talus. And uh, we paired these bad boys up together. And the rig's really simple. All right. Get your swivel. Any kind of braid knot you want to use, you can use. I add a little bead in here, okay? Um, um, I'm gonna start off with a fluorocarbon leader, but I'm told uh, you don't need it. Um, people that use fluorocarbon say if it brings you at least one more bite, then it's worth it. Um, um, so I have regular 80 pound monofilament, but I'm gonna start out with fluorocarbon. It's normally how we do it in Florida. We're gonna be fishing these oil rigs in between 100 to 200 foot of water within 10 miles of shore, really within nine miles. Anything outside of nine miles was considered federal water. Um, um, we're gonna wanna be inside of that nine mile limit so we can keep four per person. Um, the red snapper out here biting. So it's a three foot leader. This is an Edo owner super uh, circle hook. These are them right here. Owner, 
reef and rig okay meets all gulf state and federal fishing regulations uh, out here is a big deal um, uh, that they only want you fishing if you are using any kind of natural bait that you use a circle hook um, these fish are at depth you're pulling them in fast um, bring a venting tool out there with you um, so you can send these guys back down if they're not the right size um, uh, you can use 8-0s, 9-0s, some people even use the 10-0s. Um, uh, I, like I said, have the 80-pound clear Andy Premium. I uh, can use this for liter as well, it'd be just fine. Uh, some people are using up to 150-pound liter. Um, I have the Accurate Boss loaded with 80-pound Power Pro, um, um, as well as uh, the Stella. Um, I like to get a little bit more sporty. Um, if you like to use something heavier, drop a comment. Let me know why it is you do that. I mean, I know the answer is, is there some really big red snapper out there and you could hook anything. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it done with 80. Uh, we talked to some local uh, uh, some local guides, uh, some local guys at the bait and tackle shop to get some information. Three foot leader, you're dropping it down to the bottom. Um, um, squid natural cut bait um, um whatever you can get that's the freshest um gonna drop this bad boy down you want to have a fairly short leader so that the weight keeps the bait close down to the bottom and um we use power pro that we can feel the bite and just like that if they're out there you should be able to get them four per person I'm going to go out there tomorrow, see if we can get some live action going for you. And uh, this right here that I have is um, this is just a quick way, something I found fishing over the years. You guys can find them out there. This right here just clicks onto your line and clicks off. Um, you can put your weight on there. Good thing about this is, is um, this allows you to take that off of there. If you want to have go into a flat line, this allows you to change out your weight as you need to um i like the idea of that because here's the deal we don't know what the water is going to do ever um uh at best it's a guesstimation so we get out there if the current's changing or anything like that um you having a drop loop installed off a three-way swivel or something like this can save you a lot of time from re-rigging and that's what we're all about all right guys well, I just wanted to share with you a few of the rigging tips for what we're getting into tomorrow. I'm super pumped. Uh, only fish for red snapper off uh, Cape Canaveral, um, uh, right out of Cocoa Beach. That was many years ago. I'm super pumped to do it over here out of the Gulf. Tomorrow, we're going to fish these oil rigs. We're going to show you guys what time it is. Stay tuned.